and when that change does come, I feel like a lot of uh, climate change films focus on disappearance, whether it's extinction or, or, or like the disappearance of the glaciers. There's something it seems fundamentally different about seeing something change. Yeah. That, 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 that might affect viewers in a different yeah, way. Yeah, and that was definitely a learning from Chasing Ice and the impact we were doing with that film, trying to get it out to audiences. Watching glaciers melt thousands of miles away doesn't have as much of an emotional impact as watching animals die, watching coral reefs die, watching Nemo's home disappear. Um, so there was a very different, uh, when, we, when we first got exposed to the story, we realized that there was a very big different opportunity here because the, um, the degree to which this ecosystem was changing. And, and, and not only sort of figuring out what has changed and what might be disappearing, but just a greater appreciation of what's already there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of, the, some of these micro uh, looks at the coral, I mean, they look like something from outer space. It, totally. it's, it's kind of crazy to, to, to see that that exists yeah, totally. in our backyard, basically. I, um, before this project, I had done about five scuba dives um, while in college in Thailand. In retrospect, I now realize it was a very mediocre reef, um, and I think that's why I just didn't have great fascination with it. No offense, uh, Thailand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was over, I don't know, it was just this one spot. I just got a bad spot. Um, but over the course of making this film, this was really my introduction to the ocean. I knew nothing about corals, how they operated, um, and no, knowing going into it, without knowing much, I knew that audiences wouldn't know that much as well. Like, I didn't understand what a coral was at the start of the project. So we had to figure out how do we communicate that to an audience without wanting to, like, both oversimplify it, but also showing respect to the audience. I loved that we, we happened to capture the scene of Richard not knowing what corals were and asking a very like some straightforward questions. That that's one of my favorite scenes in the whole film is that little banter between him and Ruth, and you could feel Ruth just like trying to coax him on, like you know the answer. Um, but that it was really really fun. Um, to actually, just from a filmmaking perspective, being able to identify those places where we could have one scene do many different things at the same time, um, where in some cases it was wanting to. Um, teach the audience something potentially that we were learning, but still packaging it in humor, or wanting to showcase um, you know, emotional moment with Zach and with Charlie. It's advancing the story, but at the same time, it's having like a deeper message. Uh, and, and those are some of the things for me that uh, I was most proud of, and I think our, our whole team was most proud of, where we can have a certain scene accomplish so many different things.